What's up Baller Nation? In today's video I have a little form shooting drill for you guys today. It's like a game, it's like a little competition that you guys can do. And I've been using this one with pretty much every player that I've been working with lately. And yesterday, quick little story is I did this with a player and he did pretty good at it. He kind of struggled. It was his first time doing it. But immediately after doing this drill, we went and shot 50 mid-range shots. And for the first time since we've been working together, he got 35 out of 50. That's 70%. A personal record for him. And I think the advice that really helped him was to not miss left or right. I'll get all into those little tips in the video right now. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'd like to just walk you through uh, one of the form shooting drills Troy and I do on a regular basis and one that he's really improved on. So we start off with just one hand form shooting, working on our release point, working on our follow through. And the way the game works, I guess you can call it a game, is that you gotta get two swishes in a row before you can move on to the next spot. So as you can see, Troy's doing a good job of really focusing up. And in our workouts and with all the players I work with, we always talk about when it comes to shooting, we wanna shoot every shot in our workout as if it was a game winner. We gotta also not just work on our form, work on our touch, work on our mechanics, but we also gotta work on our focus, our ability to really lock in and focus. So Troy's doing a good job of that. As you can see, he's still with the one hand and you can modify this drill for whatever level you're working with. So obviously Troy's a high level player, so all the way back into the free throw line, I'm expecting him to get swishes, two in a row. So at this point in the video, he's still on swishes. And there he goes, first tries, two in a row swishes from the free throw line. And now he's one step inside the three point line. And now he has two hands on the basketball. Okay, so at this point he has two hands on the basketball. No jump, okay, no jump. And let's just see if he can make some shots here. He's calibrating, okay, there's a, there's a swish right there. And one thing good players do is they're able to calibrate. And the reason we do this drill, and what I'm telling Troy as we're going through this drill is to not miss left or right. Excuse me. No matter what, I want him to shoot that ball straight. Okay, every shot's gotta be straight. If you miss long, if you miss short, I'm okay with that. But just keep it straight. Because if you don't keep it straight, you're not gonna get swishes. And that's really the hard part to change in your shot on a consistent basis. If you wanna be a consistent shooter, you gotta shoot it straight. And it's really hard if you're always missing right or left and it's inconsistent like that to become a great shooter. So you got, it's easy to, to change distance, right? I can always change, put a little bit more on it or I can take a little bit off. And that's exactly one of the things this drill works on, okay? So he misses short, it's perfectly straight, then I tell him just add 1%. Whenever you're making little tweaks to your shot or anything, you don't wanna to add too much. If your coach says add arc, say okay, and then you add 1% arc. If you miss short, you add 1% power. If you miss long, you take off 1%. Okay, and that's basically kind of my philosophy when it comes to shooting. Shoot it straight and then calibrate the long and short because that's easy to do. So now as you can see, Troy is all the way back to the three point line now. No jump and now we're just looking for two makes in a row. Okay, so now he's off the three point line shooting from about college three and he's catch and shoot. He's able to jump now. Two hands, just a normal shot but still with the focus on keeping it straight and uh, yeah, calibrating that long and short distance. Just gotta make two in a row from this point. Don't need to make uh, two swishes because we'd be here all day, that'd be very difficult. Something that I think even Steph Curry would spend some time doing. But anyways, he's sticking with it, doing good here. He's, this is pretty quick to get through this drill, um, especially when you're expected to make swishes in a row from the free throw line. So there he goes, he's able to put one in there from about I would say FIBA three, and he just needs two in a row, which he just got, and so the drill's over. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. As you can tell, I've been uploading different kinds of content lately, okay? The channel is kind of moving in a little bit of a different direction. I'm not really sure exactly what direction yet. Leave some comments below with some ideas, but I think we need some change a little bit away from the tutorials. I want it to be basketball content, but I just gotta kind of figure out exactly what direction that is. So I'm reaching out to you guys. First step really is just to reach out to you guys and ask you guys, you know, what do you guys wanna see? Do you like little videos like this? This is a little different. I haven't really done anything like this before. The one-on-one -on -one videos, all the vlog stuff. Let me know what you guys want more of. And of course, more tutorials coming your way, but there's no way that I'm gonna release like five tutorials a week or even four tutorials a week because, I mean, I've been at this for like four years now so I've covered a lot of the topics but anyways thank you guys so much for watching hit the like button leave a comment if you're new here subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one